Hello and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babel. When we last left off, uh, we were infiltrating this guard post. Oh. You do blink on and off. Come on. There we go. What's over yonder? Probably gonna have to hide under here. Brown cap, long hair, and real tired. I should probably turn off my cigarettes. Ah, I see why this isn't on my map. Because it is a very long road to nothing. Ah. <sighs> Okie day. Come on. Tum to tum to tum to tum. Keep on wanting to hit start to uh, access my inventory rather than select, so that's why I keep face planting. So yeah, we're going to want to go this direction, I think. Or, nope. to knock you out. Let's move on a bit further. What? Huh. Well then. Hmm. Okay, this is a really poorly drawn map. Um, that or this is a map for the American version, and I'm playing the the European version. So, um, one second, I'm gonna go back to the room with all the beams. Okay, so this is the room I want to be in, but I went through the wrong door. Okay, let's see if you guys turn off. You do. How about you? Are you solid or are you on sequence? I think you're uh, solid. There we go. Come on. It's your buddy Solid Snake. <sighs> yeah, mazes like this suck. Thank you. I guess we'll go up the next one. There we go. 
come on! I think you're permanent. <gasps> okay. Yeah, the problem is the fogger only works at a very short distance, so I don't want to just sprint wherein I can't see something, because that yeah, might be uh, a really foolish thing to do. Let's see, maybe it's a uh, slight curve? Nope. Red cap, long hair. I wonder. Will she wrap me out? No. Snake, it's me. Follow me. Nice! <laughs> yeah... Yeah... We won't have to worry about the guards here. Good. We can talk. Is it? Sorry, it's just that you're easier on the eyes than any other Delta Force operator I've met. Is that your idea of a compliment? Absolutely! Anyway, what'd you find out? Uh, plenty. Only one researcher is left. James Harks, aka Jimmy the Wizard. Head of Metal Gear Development Team. Supposed to be a genius. Eh, get his location? Uh-huh. There are barracks to the north of this building. He seems to be held there. In the barracks to the north of here. Got it. One more thing. There are four mercenaries working as GLF's military consultants. Yeah, I've heard about him. Oh, wow. Slasher Hawk. His signature weapon is a giant boomerang. Really? Yeah, I don't get it either. Marionette Owl. Ah. Expert assassin and master of nocturnal combat. Okay... Pyro Bison, who practices his own scorched earth tactics with a massive flamethrower. Pyro Bison? Uh, you know, I think you're making these names up. No, this is the names that they gave themselves. Really? Really? Ugh. And their leader, Black Art Viper. Black Art Viper? <sighs> Are you sure you're not just making all this crap up? Viper! Poisonous snake! 
They first appeared on the scene around two years ago. Made a round of hotspots around the world before they set up in Gindra. They're very, very good. Rumor has it they are former U.S. Special Forces. American? I, I really have a doubt on that, but okay. That was good work in a pretty short period of time. I tried my best. Was that good enough proof for you? Let's just say you convinced me you don't need me babysitting. What else? Uh, anything wrong? Um... Yeah. I like the fact that we Americans are not welcome around here. Uh, yeah, no. Have you read up on the history of uh, American occupation of Africa? Of course we're not welcome here. Why? They think the U.S. is blocking their independence. Well, if there's oil or any other kind of natural resource, that's probably more accurate than not. That the deployment of peacekeepers is an armed invasion to extend U.S. control over Gindra. Again, look at U.S. history. That's why they have such faith in the general who wants to end U.S. interference and win independence. I thought our mission was for the good of the people of this country. Eh, kind of, nah, whatever. But what we're doing may be... Chris, why don't you join the military? Why did you join the military? What? Well, maybe because I wanted something concrete. Something concrete? Like justice or discipline. All the things we need to keep going. Uh, those are concepts. Those aren't concrete. Uh, I don't know. I didn't write this crap. I can tell. Chris, the only thing that you need on a battlefield to keep going is the instinct to keep living. Yeah. I don't want you to die. But... Think about completing the mission. About going home alive first. Yeah, I guess so. I will. For now. No, not for now. <sighs> I, I don't want to bring you home in a body bag, alright, Jenner? I'm going after Harks. You must have some valuable information on Metal Gear. Okay, I'll open the doors with my card three. You can trail me. Chris. What? You're gonna be okay? Yeah, don't worry. With this outfit on, no one will spot me. That's not what I meant. Uh, I know. Thanks. Ladies first. Probably should put your cap back on, but whatevs. Snake, rescue James Harks, the chief of Metal Gear development team. Harks is held in the bar barracks to the north of the Watchtower. You're in. Yeah, I know. Jenner just told me. First, Sergeant, or follow Sergeant Jenner's lead and get to the north side of the tower. Okay. 
first what we're gonna do is uh, definitely uh, call up Mei Ling. Need anything? Save. Definitely save. Save completed. Ever heard of this? Dr. Copplethorne says. Look, these quotations and sayings are great, but I'd also like to get to know you. Uh huh. Foolish is the one who offers deep confidence in shallow alliance. What? It's a Chinese proverb. It means that it's unwise to tell important things to someone you don't even know. Great. Um, and I'm going to pause here, because I just saved, um, and yeah, we'll be right back soon. One second. Okay, and we're back. Just had to clean up some stuff, and while we're here, let's see what everyone has to say. How about you, McBride? It was seven years ago that the name of Gindra gained the level of international recognition unusual for such a small African nation. Outer heaven. Yes. You would know better than anyone else about that. Yeah, but apparently I don't know what Gindra was. Well, I guess I knew what Galud. Well, it was Galud. Eh, whatever. An armed fortress state that appeared almost overnight in the Gindrin Mountains, led by Big Boss, possibly the greatest mercenary of his time. He was ready to declare war on the world on the strength of that of nuclear-capable bipedal armored vehicle we call Metal Gear. But his great plan failed. You, Solid Snake, destroyed Metal Gear and took out Outer Heaven. Y yeah, I, I knew all this. I was there. And all this by yourself. Eh, I had support. It was a long time ago. The incident made Foxhound internationally famous and Solid Snake a legend. I never wanted that. But now you're about to take on Outer Heaven again. This time under the name of Galud. Galuade? Eh, I'm just gonna keep saying Galud. Maybe it was meant to be. So, um... <sighs> yes, this game definitely doesn't follow Metal Gear Solid the main games for the PlayStation, um, as you can easily tell. But uh, apparently, while this game is a side story, it kind of feels like it's a continuation of the other non-canon um, Metal Gear game, Snake's Revenge, for the NES, to which people say that this is sort of um, an all-inclusive alternate timeline. Um, and if you want to go that way, that's actually kind of an interesting way to go about things. Let's talk to, uh, Weasel. Using weapons won't necessarily give you an edge in close quarter combat. Sometimes nothing beats aces and bare hands. What about a knife? Your comrades are what keep you going on the battlefield. Try playing a link battle sometimes. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the two-player game er, version of this game. Oh, I, I can't do that with this setup. I know you can't. Anything else to say, Weasel? There's no time to let your attention wander in the battle conditions. Stay on top of things around you at all times. And I wouldn't recommend walking and playing at 
at the same time, uh, what are you talking about? You know, like when you're out and about and playing on your Game Boy and you're breaking the fourth wall again. Yeah, so what? Someone's gonna get hurt. Eh. Colonel. James Harks, the Metal Gear researcher, is being held prisoner in the barracks to the north of the watchtower you're currently in. Yeah, I know. First, follow Sergeant Jenner's lead and get to the north of the watchtower. Okay, well, now that we've had all of that sort of uh, cutscene fun, I'm going to call this video, and when we come back... More Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babel. Anyway, thanks very much, and have a good one. Bye.